Hey, what's going on, world of YouTube and Diecast fans? Welcome back to my channel. Those of you that are here for the first time, hey, thank you for showing up. Thank you for coming. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and click like if you uh, enjoy this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this truck here and we're going to give it a pretty cool, awesome paint job along with some wheels. Uh, the wheels that I'm going with for this one are from this specific casting right here. This is uh, one of my extra castings. I already took uh, one of them apart and uh, removed the wheels. All right, so here I have the truck. Uh, in order to get those wheels to fit on there, at least the rear ones, I'm going to have to cut out the, the wheel uh, fender thing there, the wheel guard. Let's remove some of that, as you can see on the top left corner, um, after everything's been removed. Right here, I can see a better close-up. Right, once everything's taken apart, put the truck back together just to make sure um, everything fits nice and smooth and it rolls. Um, no issues here. Right, nice and polished. I threw this one up there just in case you want to build your own. Um, you can take a look at that and come up with your own ideas. Maybe uh, you want to change up, change up the color to something different. All right, so here uh, we have the casting with the uh, metallic silver paint over it. I also did a small cutout for a tonneau cover, so I want to have an idea for this specific casting. Uh, the tonneau cover is going to fit just like so. Um, the piece here for the tonneau cover, I uh, did not use styrene. I cut this out from one of these Roblox uh, gaming cars that my son gets. It's nice hard plastic. Um, I think it'll work. We'll have to give it a shot. Uh, the paint, uh, metallic silver is this from uh, this rattle can here. Rustoleum. It's metallic silver. Um, I've been using this for a few other castings, and it when you put Spectra Flame paint over it, it looks very very nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use copper for this one. Alright, just a quick inventory of all the parts. Got my, my wheels. When I was doing the cutout, um, I did cut a little too close to the edge. Uh, the back piece clipped off, uh, but it'll, it, it'll still work. When I put the thing back together, uh, with the screws are holding it in place. No issues there. All right, let's uh, move on to do the, the paint. Got my stuff ready here. Um, just took a piece of tape, uh, taped the bottom of the tonic cover to hold it while I do the painting. These uh, alligator clips, I just buy them at a, like Home Depot and stuff and make my own painting uh, holders. Alright, we got the setup here. I'm going to go ahead and toss some copper paint in here. Uh, this stuff is really nice. Um, when you pour it in there, you start seeing the particles reacting right there. It's got some very nice shine. All 
a little bit of hardener. Um, I don't always use hardener uh, just because I throw most of my castings uh, in the oven and that seems to cure the paint pretty good. But I use it uh, every now and then. I'm going to stir, the, stir this up a little bit. And we can go ahead and move on to the, the real stuff, the painting, the fun stuff. I always like to mix my stuff one last time before I throw it in the cup. All right, let's get to it. Uh, start off by applying a light layer. Um, I switch between the casting and the ton of cover. That way I can keep uh, even amounts of paint on both. I do about four or five light layers and then, then I start going a little bit thicker and thicker. And I pretty much go until I have a nice smooth uh, even coat of uh, paint. Uh, the paint fumes that you see here, uh, they're getting sucked out. I do have the garage door open um, and I also have a a mask so I, I don't have to breathe in all those nasty fumes. But I'm pretty much out of paint here. Uh, less squeeze another last few drips of, of paint. And we'll go ahead and throw it in the oven. Uh, just the casting obviously we're not going to throw the ton of cover in the oven because that will probably melt right here i have both pieces got a little bit of paint splatter on the ton of cover but that's fine um, we're going to be spraying black over most of it uh, the idea for the ton of cover uh, was to create a chevy logo uh, that has the same copper color and then everything else being black um, obviously this is trial and error uh, but you'll see that the final product came out pretty good, at least in my opinion. Uh, we'll, we'll get there. Right, I went to the computer, uh, grabbed a couple logos, uh, did it in three, four different sizes. That way I can, once I do the printout, I'll cut it out and see what I'm comfortable with here. All right, so just kind of checking them out, see which of the four I'm going to go with. I think I found a match. Let's throw that on there. It's going to be on there something like so. Right, so now that I have the correct size that I want, I printed out many on the sheet of paper. That way, if I mess up, I have extras. Let's trace this over some carbon paper uh, onto the green tape, painter's tape. All right, nice, nice lines. And here I'm doing just the final cutouts. It's going to be something like this right here. And then I'm just going to spray black over it. Right. There it is. Let that dry a little bit longer. Some of that black paint is still wet, but I don't want to leave it on the tape too long because then it will peel off some of the, the black paint. Alrighty, so after all that work, here we have the 67 Chevy C10, the transformed 67 Chevy C10. Uh, the, the axles for my wheels, I do have to cut them down to size, uh, but I'll take care of that uh, whenever my order of uh, new axles comes in. So I do apologize for that, but I got excited about this casting. I wanted to throw up, throw it up, and put it on YouTube. 
sooner than later. Uh, please let me know what you think. Um, personally, I really like how everything came out and everything goes well, goes together pretty well. It's not a bad casting for the year 2020, right? Check that out. It just looks looks amazing, I think. And I just want to say thanks uh, to my subscribers. Uh, those of you that are here for the first time, uh, please uh, subscribe. Help support my channel. Uh, as of today, January 1st, 2020, I officially hit 70 subscribers. So thank you again for those of you that have taken the plunge to check out my stuff. I hope that uh, you're enjoying this video. I hope that you, enjoy, you enjoyed this build. All right, well, enjoy the rest of the video with a few photos. And thank you for showing up and checking out my, my channel.